<laughs> yeah, I'd say Ali. <laughs> Brigo. <laughs> Ali Brigginshaw, obviously. Yeah. Um, who's still in the game. Yep. For me, I think that has got to be Ali Brigginshaw. Early days, but I'd say um, for me it'd be like Ali Brigginshaw, mm. someone like her who's been around the game for a really long time now and um, yeah, she was at the top of her game for many, many years. Yeah, years. I would agree. I think Ali's just been very, very consistent over a long period of time and um, she really just controls the game so well and she's still got so much more to give. Ali? Ali or Tamika? Ali's just like consistently the man always mm. and then Tamika's the same. She has proved herself throughout the years as being one of the best halfbacks in the game and she's had to change her game style, she's had to change positions and she's always just keeping up there with being one of the best players and she was playing back when they you know, were selling their stuff to, to go away on tournaments and the, the fact that she's still playing at the level that she is um, is quite, um, it's pretty cool. See, the GOAT female rugby league player is Cara Murphy, but she never got the opportunity to play, but she's yeah, the coach of the Titans now. And I think there'll be a few more, a few more on the to rise. be yeah, adding to that list in the future. Taryn Aitken, I can see, yep. really, really dominating. This one, break this, this one. one. <laughs> You're a GOAT. You're a GOAT. <laughs> Beck Young, she was like, she gave me my first crack when I came back to rugby league, and she set the tone in Newcastle especially, so she'd be one of the GOATs for me. And Bo. Yeah, I think I definitely look up to Bo. Don't want to feed your head, but obviously the injury. Yeah, she's just a good person and a good player. Thanks. Mine would have to be Nikki Davis yeah, Welsh. Nikki. Like she's just got like things that people don't see. have. She's so quick off the mark, and in her prime, she was one of the best players on the field. And I think yeah, she's she was the best player. I think. Yeah, hundred percent. I reckon Kezi Apps. Kezi Apps. Still in the game. She's Ruan done a lot. Sims as well. Yeah. It was like unreal back then. Let's go with Ruan Sims. Yeah, she made a big legacy before. She was a big part of why we got to where we are now. Uh, and she got the opportunity to play in the NRLW and I got to I got to play with her in her last year of footy, so go Ru. I reckon Reese Eat McGregor. I think she's a legend to play next to and I'm so glad she's on my team. One of the one of the reasons why I ended up siding with the Dragons too. Being able to play alongside her. Fellow Kiwi too, shot racing. <laughs> and you've got Tamika Upton, who's <laughs> very hard to play against. Yeah. Made some highlight reels with her. Yeah. Right now, I think as well, sorry, uh, Tamika Upton, I think she's the player that you want to play, have in your team, and you don't want to play against her because she's just so freakish in the way that she plays. She's, I feel like she's five steps ahead of a lot of people. Tamika. She's just a freak. She's freaky and she knows everything, like she knows what she's talking about. So I think that's something that I definitely respect a lot because growing up I didn't have that. If Tamika, honestly, if she doesn't get injured and if she's not out this year, like she's just next level. And she's so nice. Absolutely. I think she's, she's just so, so nice like, off the field yeah, just a little girl from Rocky. She's so footy. She doesn't look smart. good, that's why she's deceiving me. You know, tall redhead girl. Oh, she's right here. Yeah, she is. Oh, sweet girl. 